up, everyone? Welcome to the 124th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by Sora Star HD, so if you enjoy what you see, head on over to that channel and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between Sora and Pit. With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's 124th round of fighters. Much like how Link isn't Zelda and Samus isn't Metroid, Pit is certainly not Kid Icarus. Unlike Kid Icarus, Pit actually did something with his life other than disappoint his family. When Pit was only 11, he saved Lady Palutena from Medusa, and from then on, he basically became her wingman. Except ironically, he really can't do anything without her permission, including flight. If Pitt wants to fly, he has to ask Palutena. If Pitt wants to use special attacks, he needs permission. If Pitt wants a power upgrade, he needs to ask. So much for Captain of Palutena's army. But then again, he's only 13, so maybe she does know what's best for him. Even though his decision-making leash is quite short, when Palutena does grant permission to embark on special missions, he definitely takes the call and goes all out. Pitt's arsenal is what gives him the advantage in most fights. He has a total of over 40 different weapons, but most are just upgraded or fused variations of his 9 base weapon types. These include metal arms, light blades, light bows, light cannons, light claws, clubs, orbitar shields, energy palms, and magical staffs. His most iconic weapon is the Sacred Bow of Palutena. This bow was handcrafted by Palutena herself and can shoot light arrows. Some of Pitt's strongest weapons include the three sacred treasures. These are the Arrow of Light, the Mirror Shield, and the Wing of Pegasus. This upgrades Pitt to near god status for a short amount of time, and with this level of power, he was able to defeat Medusa with these holy relics. Pitt even has armor known as the Great Sacred Treasure. With this armor, Pitt had the durability and overall power to take out Hades himself. This armor is loaded with light cannons, light blades, and can protect Pitt from heavy godly attacks. Now one huge problem for Pitt is that a lot of his power is either borrowed energy from Palutena or gathered from outside sources. When he's on his own, he has many tendencies to act before thinking which can lead to mistakes. Overall, Pitt is captain of Palutena's army and rightfully so. He has defeated many gods, however most of his accomplishments come from outside power upgrades. From one light warrior to another, let's discuss Sora. And ya boy, Sora is back on Cartoon Fight Club. Not that long ago, he was pitted against Link, the Hylaean. Today he faces a more angelic opponent. Sora still has his trusty Keyblade, his useful magic, and his will to keep fighting. Speaking of his Keyblade, these keys aren't just good for opening locks between worlds. They make great defensive tools and efficient combat weapons. Each Keyblade can be upgraded with a keychain that gives a blade an upgraded look and edge. With this, the Keyblade stats can be higher, the strength of the blade can be enhanced and powered up. Sora is extremely skilled with this blade, being able to take on the most fierce enemies in the Disney multiverse, battling against the Heartless, Nobodies, Unversed, and Dream Eaters. Along with Sora's Keyblade, he's extremely skilled with handling magic. He knows many basic magic types, such as fire, ice, thunder, light, wind, time, magnetism, and healing. Most of these elements are pretty self-explanatory, giving Sora the ability to shoot fire and ice projectiles, having the magical ability to freeze time on enemies, attack metal objects magnetically, and create powerful wind gusts. Sora's most iconic form of magic is light. Light is a force parallel to darkness, a strong element used in synthesis items, and is a source of energy that Sora has become highly skilled with. With the light energy, Sora can blast light speed blasts, create large spherical explosions attacking in all directions, and he can use it to physically boost his strength and physical attacks. Now as powerful as Sora is, he does have his drawbacks. Sora almost never fights alone, and is usually assisted by his friends during battle, and he sometimes relies heavily on them to defeat larger and stronger foes. He's also not the brightest thinker around. Many times he needs tactical advice in order to end up victorious in his missions. Overall, Sora is an extremely powerful kid, and a wielder of light magic. Sora can move and attack at light speeds, 
but lack sufficient solo skills and tactical decision making. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth with no prep. Let the battle begin. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Let's keep it up. Fight. Special thanks to the animator, Sora Star HD. Don't judge a book by its cover, he had nothing to do with the outcome, but if you enjoyed what you saw, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Now let's discuss why Sora beats Pit. This fight is no stomp, and Pit gave Sora a good run for his money. They are evenly matched in terms of speed and raw power. Both have multiple faster than light reaction speeds, and they both have very wide arsenals. A lot of things that Pit has in his arsenal can be countered by Sora's magic, and a lot of Sora's magic can be countered by Pit's light and defense weapons. A victor is more clearly found when we compare their solo fighting abilities and skills. While both characters are better with others around them, and neither is a solo expert, Sora does have a significant edge over Pit in the solo fighting category. Sora usually only receives outside battle tactics from his friends, while Pit greatly needs outside power substitutes and abilities from Palutena and her permission to do very important things. Palutena is responsible for a lot of Pit's greatest achievements. On his own, he's much more exposable to many elemental attacks that Sora can land on him. Pit really doesn't have a good way around Sora's time freezing magic, and they both have healing magic. However, Pit's healing is far more limited than Sora's healing magic. Sora can heal during the middle of combat. Pit would need at least some time away from fighting to get a good chance to heal himself. It would take a lot of effort to put Pit down, but eventually Sora would be able to do it. Now if you want to see a 2 on 2 sudden death between Pit and Palutena versus Sora and King Mickey, all you gotta do is like this video. If this video gets 10,000 likes, there will be a sudden death. Also, please comment down your own ideas for future episodes of Cartoon Fight Club. And stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? 
Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. You wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready 